Six. Could I have a chicken wing? I think that would make things fun. Welcome back to the funny spot. This is the segment called On the Spot, where I ask the questions to the comics and put them on the spot. So help me reintroduce Michael Jr., yeah. Rita Jones, yeah. Jeff Brown, Arvin Mitchell, and Rodman. Okay, first question is to Miss Rita Jones. Why me? Because you're the you know, ladies first. Would oh. you ever tell a fellow comic that, uh, that uh, something he was doing, fellow a joke comic. or a bit or something, or something he was doing on stage wasn't funny? Hell yeah. What Tac am I supposed to be just... Tactfully nothing. There ain't no tact in comedy. So they dude, that thing you just said, that ain't funny. Don't say it again. Or they'll shoot you. Don't say it again. <laughs> Rob, man, would you tell a follow that. comic? I would probably um, say this probably ain't your calling. Yeah. I don't know if I would tell a comic. I, I think that I could, they could just work at it and, you know. I'm like one of those spiritual guys. I'm like one of those Zen guys. I'm like, just stay with it, my brother, and you'll find your path in, in comedy. You know? Maybe he no. should just be a Zen guy. He might actually find his path in Zen. Okay, here's, an here's another question. Uh, Jeff Brown, there are a lot of comics that left the business. Is there anybody that you wish was still here? Actually, in the reverse, there are some I wish that would leave. <laughs> um, no, is there anybody I wish was still doing comedy? Uh, there's a cat I wish would come back. Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie, if you're watching the show, you're the only reason I ever started doing comedy. Come back. You got kids and divorces and stuff. I know you got something ignorant to say that we want to hear. Come back. Okay. Now we're going to take some questions from the audience. For any comic up here, where's the first question? The first question is over here somewhere. What's your question, baby? Okay, it's for Rodden. Have you ever stolen a joke? Have I stolen it? You ever stolen Have a you joke? Ever stolen a joke? Oh, stolen a joke? Um, not willingly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, not not that I know of. That's what I'm saying. But you have um, you have uh, comics that have the same subject matter, but no, never in verbatim. Uh, in that, yeah, okay. yeah, so, yeah. So you ever steal a joke, Rita Jones? Yeah, I don't. So as he knows, no. Yeah, so I've had I had them stolen from me, Ooh, and then Jesus. somebody tell yeah. me I stole it. Yeah, people, you heard the, the comic that stole it. I've had my material recycled. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been stolen from me, used by two other people, then when I do it, I'm accused of stealing Someone my own that. joke. Yeah, that's happened to me. I've had comics yeah. use some of my stuff, and then somebody come and tell me, and they swear up and down. It was like, hey, it was just a coincidence. And I'm like, well, your mother's name is Rose Rock, too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my jokes actually Everybody call me from the road. Really? Hey, Jeff, I'm in Cleveland with, I ain't gonna say his name, but y'all know who be stealing my jokes. Who has the next me. question? Where's the next question at? Right here, my the brother the best, with the beret on? Yes. What's the best right. advice anybody's ever given you for your career? The best advice anybody's ever given you for your career? Arvin Mitchell. Um, I met Chris Tucker, and he told me to move to L.A., and that's what I did. That was the best advice that I got. Michael Jr.? Um, uh, the, the, the best advice I ever got was uh, any comedy... That I that I do, I should do it in a in a way where my, my kids can be there to enjoy it as well. And it's really made me just really focus in on the writing. So my, my parents told me to do that. So. Shouldn't your kids be in the bed now? <laughs> I do my comedy yeah, for when my kids is TV. in the bed. I best piece of advice you ever been given. Uh, um, the it's best piece of advice so. I've ever gotten about comedy is don't listen to a damn thing your relatives have to say. <laughs> If you think you're funny, you're going to do your thing. That's, and that's what I did. The best piece of advice I got was uh, when my brother got SNL. He showed me the check and said, these crackers is really giving away some money, so you better get in this game. <laughs> we, we got another question. Where is it? Where's the next question? What's been your biggest gig? Say again? What's been your biggest gig? My biggest gig? I had a TV show that was on for four years, and somebody messed that up. Who was it? So I went into TV One and pitched the idea for a show called The Funny Spot, and they said we're going to do it, and this is my biggest gig. And help me thank my guests on the show tonight, Mr. Michael Jr., Rita Jones, Jeff Brown, Alden Mitchell, and Rod Man from the Comedy Union. I'm Tony Rock, and this is The Funny Spot. we see you next time. Thank you for Peace. coming out.